tonight from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Buffalo Bills. one started and into a sea of red we're underway in Kansas City and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line the KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger a former MVP in this league it's Patrick Mahomes we know the arm strength is certainly there he's got a big time cannon for an arm and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former Major League pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On play action, it's Mahomes. Got a man open, it's Ricky Seals-Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 13, it's a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. On first down, Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 22. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Mahomes firing complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening run. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. 
Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. On the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Steps away to his fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. How about 54 touchdown passes in two full seasons at the University of Wyoming? Coming out of a junior college, I think he exceeded expectations. And he can move it around a little bit, too. A much better athlete than people give him credit for. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. Short throw hauled in by Croft. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. Try to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. No gain on the. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And now he'll tuck it and run. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. From the gun, it's Allen. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. That throw is not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Anthony Hitchens. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. We're scoreless after one. With no score. The Bills with a football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it with a second and one coming up.
They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It's a first down on a gain of 10. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. on first down is Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. On first down, Singletary. Derek Nottie makes the tackle. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he's able to find Diggs. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They run here with Singletary, and they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. A loss of two there, second down. This defense is really fooled around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run as his guys are on the board first here tonight. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Steven Hauschka for the point after. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run.
Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. And this will make it into the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field and to come away with nothing that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 27, Mahomes caught Kelsey left side. And he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down, as that will take us to the two minute warning. And seven. that coming up at halftime we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman he's in Orlando and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report and he will not be able to hang on through the contact it's incomplete the coverage strong and now it's fourth down every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast that's not unusual at all but this group they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives it looks like they have to give up the football again after this one on fourth down Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. We have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Allen. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Operating from the gun. Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one. And it's third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. So the incomplete pass on the last play. And that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, Allen, and that is incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. KC's offense ready to take over. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Throwing 
on first down is Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. At the 31-yard line. now on first down and quickly into the hands of Robinson now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half they still need about the length of the football here maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range now at the 27-yard line. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This from 44 yards away. And he missed it. He missed it just wide of that left upright. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. shot before half for Allen. Stepping up, he'll try and run. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the mobile big man quarterback, Josh Allen. His guys have the lead 
as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. as the second half is underway. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. The Bills take over first and 10. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. On first down, Allen steps away. The escape ability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing now is Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. So first and 10 now from the 30. Operating from the gun, Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Singletary here running out of the gun. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. 
Allen going to try and throw on third down. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Singletary, they'll run for it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. to throw and that's going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down normally being a big bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield go up and make the catch take the hit and pick up yardage but in this case the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp another shot from the nine on second and goal from the gun Allen is pass caught at the four and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Try to run it in, DeMarco. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. It's interesting where we are in the game now. The analytics folks, they might tell you to kick the field goal and make it a two-score game. But you have to wonder if emotionally they're thinking, let's go for the touchdown and try and slam the door. So off goes Allen, and on comes Steven Hauschka for the Buffalo field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and the lead moves to 10 Zim. Chiefs, nothing. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense... The way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Steven. Now after the main field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. They bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Here's Mahomes to throw, and his throw here's incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time, and it's third and five. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mahomes now to throw, and Robinson with a big catch. And he will have 
have a Chiefs first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they run the option here on first and 10. And yeah, they drop him for a loss, but penalty markers are on the field. Let's see about the call. Defense. Defense. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the Bills' 47-yard line. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 38. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. down Mahomes and this will be incomplete a physical play on the football there and it's second down normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact but in this case maybe a little too much target to hit that one was timed well incomplete they work again from the 38 on second and 10 Working from the gun, Mahomes over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time, and it'll bring up third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them rocked on their heels. and 10. Here's Mahomes. His throw caught right around the 6. And able to get him down, but he does reach the 5. 
Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And again, it's Mahomes. And it's caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. So they get the score still down, but bottom line is they kept themselves in the game. They did keep hope alive, Brandon. That's exactly what they did. Now they've got to deliver and finish things off. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. At their own 25-yard line. And the Bills getting set to go. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. throw again. Allen and Beasley with it over the middle. And he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them and they run that quick cut on the slant and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll try and run for this with Moss. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead.
Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. On the counter, this is Singletary. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. To throw is Allen. And that's caught by Beasley. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. take a knee so they get pushed back to the 11 and here's second and goal Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The ball carrier. It'll be a gain of four, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair, low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Tonight's final score. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old.
So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.